Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America and former President Donald Trump. He just laid down a challenge to the Republican Party that I think they should answer, and they should answer it quick if we want to defeat Joe Biden in 2024. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. So President Trump released a campaign ad this week in which he called for Republicans to finally unify behind him. And he went off on people like Mitt Romney, people like Bill Barr, people like former Speaker Paul Ryan, and all kinds of people like that that are still trying to coalesce to stop Trump, even though at this point Trump is a runaway train in the Republican primary, and I don't think he can be stopped. I think he's undefeatable right now in the Republican primary. But Trump had a lot to say about this, and I want you to take a look at it. I understand candidates that are losing by 57 to 70 points are getting together with Rhino Paul Ryan, Mitt the Loser Romney, Bill No Guts or No Talent Bar, and some broken political investors that will soon come to me, as most others already have. These failed candidates should have started by campaigning effectively which they didn't because they really don't have the skill or the talent to do so. Romney, who today couldn't get elected dog catcher in the great state of Utah, should have beaten an absolutely failed first-term Obama. Should have beaten him very easily. If he and Rhino Paul fought as hard against Obama as they do against President Donald J. Trump, they would never have lost. They would have beaten Obama. But remember, Republicans eat their young. They really do. They eat their young. Terrible statement, but it's true. And that's the problem with so many in our party. They just don't have the loyalty and the strength to stick together. They go after people who are on their side rather than the radical left Democrats that are destroying our country. These people are losers, and the Republican nation must stop following their failed ideas and policies. They only help the worst president in the history of the United States, the most corrupt president, the most incompetent president, Crooked Joe Biden, we don't want to help him. We have to get him out of office. The Republican Party should unify, and they should unify fast. We need Joe Biden out of there. He's destroying America. Thank you very much. Now, I think he's absolutely right. Short of the fact that he's talking about not attacking other Republicans, and then he goes on to attack a whole bunch of other Republicans, I think a lot of people would agree that the Republicans he's attacking are the traditional term for rhino, Republicans in name only. They don't act like Republicans. They don't behave like Republicans. They don't vote like Republicans are supposed to vote. So I think what Trump is saying, though, is 100 percent spot on. If you want to defeat Joe Biden in 2024, Trump's the only way. Look, whatever thoughts you had about the primary and who your preferred candidate was, they were all great, in my opinion, and all could have defeated Biden, in my opinion. But it's over. I mean, it's all over, but the shouting at this point. Trump has this thing locked. Unless something miraculous happens to stop him, Trump has the primary locked. He will most likely be the Republican nominee. I think everybody can see that now. So why not right now, as the Democrats are coalescing behind Joe Biden, right now the Republicans should say, you know what, enough of this. Let's not go any further with this. Let's coalesce behind Trump. And let's give it our best chance to defeat Joe Biden in 2024. Because if we don't, we may never recognize America again. I want to know what you guys think about this. So please let me know in the comments. Also, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. It does really help us out. I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.